Overwinning Primary School on the east bank of Babis recently commissioned a new library. Michael Khan reports. Reading is essential, meaning that we must learn to read, then read to learn. Acknowledging this, Peace Corps volunteer attached to the overwinning primary school Greater New Amsterdam, Ariane Hoskins, with the support of her foreign and local counterparts and donations from the wider community, established a child-friendly library with a computerized system which was commissioned earlier this week at the Grade C school that currently has 185 pupils. The establishment of the library was actually already here. There was a previous volunteer that created the space, um, but it was a space that wasn't very um, well utilized. And so when I came in, I told myself I wasn't doing a library because it was a typical volunteer thing to do. I was like, I'm not a librarian. <laughs> I was just very, very adamant about that. But in the same sense, the, the students would come into the computer room, which was my temporary office and always you know want to spend time they'd see me with a book and they'd ask me oh miss can I can I borrow this book can I use this or I'd come into the library sometimes and they want to take things out and I say you know what we can make this functional for y'all we can make this a space you want to be in we can make this a space that you like and that's easy to use and so I kind of looked into what didn't work for the other um, library space and I aim to make it easier and user friendly for the teachers and also the students and for the students to want to be in here and to urge the teachers to bring them in here and you know for the teachers to want to use this as a secondary space so they're not sitting in the same classroom all day just so many different aspects that work towards this space that we have here right now the outgoing peace corps volunteer for the related between the time that we decided we were going to spruce it up, um, I didn't know anything about contract work or anything about how much things should cost, what I should pay the contractors. And when I say I pay, it doesn't mean I came out of my pocket. There were different community members that donated everything that you see. Nothing did I pay for. It's, and that's amazing because I'm a volunteer and I don't make too much money. So um, the flooring wasn't here. The ceiling wasn't here. All the paint is donated. We put new plywood boards. Um, we actually walled up the outside and made a beautiful mural with all the hands of the students, teachers, staff um, here at the school. Um, so the process itself was just a lot of different people and a lot of different um, cooperation that we were asking for. There were times that I didn't step foot in this library, um, but we, we got it finished. Graduate Senior Assistant Mistress of the School, Charmin Thomas Babb, was also instrumental in the establishment of the library that has a reading corner which is dedicated to a former pupil, Leonard Archibald, who died under tragic circumstances in September 2017. It will foster reading the pupils, students, they are excited about the project. This morning they came in, Miss, when can we start borrowing books? So foster reading, which is the most important part, and that's what we want to see come alive in overwinning. At the formal commissioning ceremony, Archibald's parents were given a hamper through a combined effort of teachers and students of the school. We had regular reading that is scheduled on the timetable and we would have a few reading competitions within classes. But to have the external reading, to have them come borrow books, we have our library program in place but it was not very functional. So with this we are hoping to have the children read, come back, report, say what they read. You know, we have discussions and when we don't, we're not in the classrooms, we come down here maybe have peer reading or shared reading. Some guided reading. Headmaster of the school, Madoda Alfred, is elated about the establishment of the library and the reading corner. I want to say how happy I am and the members in the community to have such a mammoth library. Mr. Alfred assured that following the departure of Ms. Hoskins, the facility will be managed efficiently with the support of his staff. I want to assure her that we are going to ensure that the library is maintained and used to the fullest. Ms. Hoskins said that she has been offering guidance to the staff of the institution and she is confident that the library will remain fully functional. 
I'm hoping that my trained librarians, him, the teachers, <laughs> would um, not only want to use the space, the students help push the teachers want to use the space, and then also maybe even get a schedule together so that they have a rotation of who comes in, when they use it, and that kind of thing. So there's no, you know, oh, I'm in the space and no arguing or, you know, and there's just a smooth process and cooperation of using the new facility. Also, I want them all to be able to use the system. Pupils of grade 5, Farshini Sukra, Debiani Narain, Akila Denhart, Mark Baksh, and Arvin Hennis spoke with Channel 8 News and shared their thoughts on the new library. I will be utilizing this library by using books and reading to learn. I love this library and I think Miss Ariane worked hard in this library and people overseas take their time and place with this sending these books and I think every single day I will come and read in this book um, in this library and I'll make everything go back to place where it went and I love this library reading and would also help me to speak better because some of the books are based on English English language Teachers work so hard to let this library be beautiful and I will be reading every day and explore more about this library. I think the establishment of library is good because educational can carry far, get a better job. The pupils also had some advice for their peers. I would encourage my classmates to get mathematics books from the library and practice their mathematics and read and to develop their vocabulary skills and so Well, I will encourage them to read this library every day because Miss Ariane, Miss Ariane says that you cannot, um, she's not making this library to go to waste. She's making this library to, for us to um, read them in. The advice I have for my schoolmates is to always read and never stop reading. I will encourage them to like when they read that they could put back the books where they went because the teacher that do this do this is very like say that she works so hard for fix the books up in order so I will just help them to put it back in order when they read. I will tell them to read that educational can carry anywhere. There's not there's nothing else than education. Michael Khan, John Leap News.